we are back to The Walking Dead Season 1 on the Definition Edition. So, we were, we made it to Macon after an incident at Herschel's farm. So, and we made it to the pharmacy where Everett's family used to run. Um, had a little incident with some of the survivors, like Larry, and caused him to have like a heart condition troubles, like, oh. And we said we'll help him get inside the pharmacy to get his nitroglycerin pills. So that's what we're going to do. Ooh, sorry about that. My phone just went off. So just let me turn that down. So, all right. So now we're in the back room here after helping everyone inside. So let's take a look. This door leads to the back alley. Yeah. track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were or that you were tied to this place? Sticking to first names for a reason. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good, because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Everyone out there seem all right to you. Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on him. There was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? Well, I'm not gonna go looking for them. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. Mm-hmm. So Carly knows Lee's history. Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Clear a path to opening that door. What's that? This is my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you with your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. Mm-hmm. Dads are just smart like that. I ought to clear a path to opening that door. Alright, alright, yeah, I already know that one, so... Better get this door clear, huh? 
Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. Mm. How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? is a doctor and my dad is an engineer those are good jobs what's your job I uh, teach history and writing and things like that like um, social studies yeah like that you didn't answer my question all right a little further <sighs> why don't you want to talk about your family do they, like, hate you? I hope not. It's just complicated, that's all. Why? It just is. But you love them, right? Yeah, of course. Look, my family's gone, and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I, um... Uh, I can't... I got into a fight once. And what happened? And it ended really badly. After that, I wasn't allowed to talk to my family. That's so sad. Let's move this thing. Mm-hmm. Ow! Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. Find your bandage. It's the remote to my dad's TV. That's what I figured. <laughs> Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? Lee? They'll, uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? Keep looking around. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look at that finger. How? It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. Locked. We need to track hmm. down the keys if we're gonna help Larry. Yeah. Wanna head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. <laughs> Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I, uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? Was he bad? He was. Mm-hmm. He was bad. He slept with my wife. Hey there. Uh, this is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. 
Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn, we're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, alright? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Hey there. Hi. How's your finger, Clem? Good. It doesn't hurt so much anymore. Good. Can I, uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. Still, huh? Yeah, it wasn't much. I know, Clem. I'll see if I can find something else for you. I know I'm not your dad, but if you need anything, I'm your guy, okay? Okay. Same. You're my guy? Oh. No, <laughs> you know. We're gonna try to take care of each other. Yes, deal. So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh... I'm good. That's good. Yeah, I, I think so. Uh, being good is good, despite the circumstances. Yep. Mm -hmm. We'll sit tight. Okay. And yeah, let me take care of Clementine, and, just, and then we'll head off. So let's see here. Photos. Um, so anything useful? Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Sure, uh, let's go have a look around. Cool, and we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring them back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. I can't reach that brick. Man, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. Look at the one trapped over there. Better hit on us, huh? Oh no. Oh, shit. What? Do you know that guy? He could be a drugstore employee. So you're saying he might have the pharmacy keys? 
I'm saying he might have the pharmacy keys. I don't know. Could be anybody, you know. If they start rotting and get all chewed up and... Shut up, Doc. Look at the uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. It would take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. If we could somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. I'll see what I can find. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. We just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah. Just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Hmm. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Let's just hope the power's still on. You can just do that? I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Well fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? Hmm, I got a few of them to take notice. But not enough. Open sesame. That won't work. I was kidding. It's universal, but not that universal. I know, Doc. It's a combination lock. Doug, you want to get this door open? About that. You've got the combo, right? No. Did anyone ever have it? Look, man, there were a lot of those things trying to get in here. And now we can't get back out onto the street. We're also party to some egregious fire code violations. All right, then, well. How'd you end up here? Hmm. I moved here to live with my uncle. He does tech stuff, and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months, and I spend a lot of time. On the computer? No, just doing my own thing. What about you? I grew up here. Been trying to get home since the day I came back. Oh, so you probably knew the owners then? Yeah, I did. Good people. Let's head back inside. Okay. Yeah, let's go back inside. Since I can't find anything for Clementine to eat now, I'll have to try to look for something. How are we doing? If you don't mind, I think my family and I are gonna rest for a bit. Let me know if that asshole over there takes a turn for the worse. You've got it. Okay, thanks. Hey. I'm going to get back to him. Sounds good. Pharmacy light goes all over like that. Yep, okay, yep. Time to talk to Carly. Hey there. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. Maybe I'll find something while I'm out with Carly. We don't get Glenn. Get down. Did you see that? I sure did. B 
be ready to shoot. Guys! Oh, man. I'm glad you're here. Jesus, Glenn! Uh, right then wasn't so hard. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way! We gotta go, now! Listen, I was out here looking for gas, and then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A, a couple almost got me and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her with or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. <laughs> All right. Well, we got to think how we're going to do this. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Okay, this is the plan. We don't know how hard it's going to be to get her out of that room. Yeah, it's boarded up. <laughs> So we have to kill every one of them in here. Quietly, noise attracts these things. Now let's have a look around. Good luck smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. by that RV, if we're quiet and keep our heads down. All right. Spark plug. The porcelain inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. Let's go over here. for him to 
to get closer. All right. Where'd your weapon go? Into that ice big sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Um, Are you two done? Sure, we're done. Just let me grab this axe now. No more. That should help. You guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell. Okay, we'll be right behind you. Going up. there we're here to help please just go away let's go guys in a minute if you open up we can take you somewhere safer we've got a group in town no 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 please. she's in trouble no. miss we're coming in that ain't you work. might want to break through that board first oh thanks Get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you, I said go away. I'm bit. But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die, and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. Whew. You have a boyfriend? Glenn. I don't want that. It's not Christian. Please. Just leave me. Please go. Okay, we'll leave. Just try to take care of yourself for whatever time you have left. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this, and then, and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please, I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. We can't let you do that to yourself. Then do it for me! We need to get going. Give it to me, please! This is crazy! Please, step back. It's just two seconds, just one bullet, and I can be with my family, and it'll all be fine. Miss. Back up! Please! Get the gun, get the gun, get the gun, get the gun! Ooh. Whoa, take it easy. We just want to help. You can't. Miss, just relax now. You need to think this through. We'll find you a doctor. It'll be okay. 
That's all just... No! 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 no. <laughs> well, that didn't go very well. Let's get out of here. Look at that. You draw the attention. Shit. Here they come! Get in! Everyone alright? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine and... Well, yeah. We're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out of it won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. Well, that's already taken care of and dealt with. Let's see here. Um, I don't think there's anything I can do right now. And look at the time. It, our time is up now. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button if you got something to say about it hit down in the comment section want to be part of the screaming eagles for more exclusive content hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notification for more upcoming videos by jade eagle 101 have a good one